Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you the top five books that I'd like to read over the winter season. So I think winter is probably one of my favorite like times to read, but I think because it's just like dark out all the time, it's cold out, like you can get cozy on the couch with the fire going and just really have that perfect reading atmosphere. So these are books that I definitely want to get to over these next three months. And so they're kind of all over the place in terms of genre, but these ones I think that are ones that I think they'll be very intriguing, very atmospheric, or just like bring me into that cold mindset. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So starting out, this one is a nonfiction book, and but it definitely takes place in like a cold country, and it is The Romanoff Sisters by Helen Rappaport, and this is like a nonfiction recount of the Romanoff sisters and their lives, basically everything leading up to their execution and I always like when I was younger I always loved the movie Anastasia so like I kind of even though that is completely not historically accurate I think it's a very interesting time period I remember learning about the Russian Revolution in school and just being intrigued by it but I, I think I've only read like one book that kind of deals with that and it's Lost Roses by Martha Hall Kelly which kind of integrates the Russian Revolution into her novel but I've never read anything from like a non-fiction point of view and I figured this one would be a good one to read um, just because it does take place in like Russia so it'll be cold and it is fairly it's like a, a well-researched book so I'm excited to pick this up like I was looking here actually like and these are all like references so I'm really excited to pick it up but I think it just accounts like their early years growing up and then obviously um, their demise um but i think it'll just be interesting to learn all this stuff like i just think like this part of history is just so interesting so i'm really definitely excited to pick up more and i feel like the cold russian wilderness and like environment would go well with kind of the winter theme that we have going on here so this is a book that i am definitely really excited to pick up and i feel like because it is fairly dense i feel like winter is a good time to start reading it and like dive right in and it is cloud cuckoo land by Anne Anthony Dewar. This is his newest novel that has come out recently and basically it follows basically this book that was uh, saved from burning during the um, Library of Alexandria when it burned down. This book was saved and it follows the path that this book has kind of taken throughout history and also our future as well. So we follow different people throughout different periods of human life and their connection to this book and just how that story has been passed on and eventually into our future generation as well. And I think that's such an intriguing way, like just the thread of a story throughout human history and like present day and in the future I think is just be really interesting. I've read the synopsis before but I think this is one where you just kind of have to go into it and experience it and yeah I think this one sounds so intriguing so much fun and I apologize for being vague but I think this is a book that you just need to have like a general premise and then kind of dive right in so that's what I'm gonna be doing here I loved all the light we cannot see I read that book back in like when it first came out I want to say like 2015 2014 and I loved it so this is his newest newest book since then and I let's just say the standard and like my expectations for this are really high Next, this is one that I just think would be fun to read over the winter months. And just because this book is so big, it will probably take me a while to get through. And it is Best Wishes, Warmest Regards, The Story of Sh Shit's Creek by Daniel and Eugene Levy. So I love Shit's Creek. It's the little Canadian show that could. It's filmed like right where I grew up. So it's interesting seeing a town that I'm familiar with and just this little Canadian show that, you know, won all these awards. Like it's so exciting. So this basically goes into the making of Schitt's Creek like um, all these different things of like the scripts the characters and like all these things I think would just be really interesting to see like just like the clothing and like all these other things sounds like just a lot of fun and just because of how big this book is this one might be just like my evening reads like read a couple pages here or there throughout the month but yeah, I think this one will just be really fun. I'm like re-watching it right now and I'm on the last season. So it's timed perfectly. So by the time I finish that, I can pick this up so I can still be within the Schitt's Creek world. 
Next up I have another nonfiction, and this is one that has been very intriguing for me and I've had it on my TBR for a while but I figure you like you know what it's time that I pick this up so I'm hoping to get to it this season and it is Kindred by Rebecca Rag Sykes and this is basically a nonfiction book talking about Neanderthals and everything we've learned about them. Kind of they get this um, kind of through the historical lens of just like social commentary they're kind of they get the kind of basically that they were like the idiots like they were just lesser than homo sapiens or like our ancestor equivalent at the time but in fact they were actually very intelligent like like, like we learn more and more about them and they don't fit kind of that dumb, dumb caveman kind of stereotype that they've been given but this kind of goes into Neanderthal, Neanderthal life love death and art and I just think this will be in really interesting the anthro nerd in me is gonna love this for those of you who don't know during my undergrad I double majored one was in biomedical engineering and the other one was in anthropology and just because I think human evolution is just so interesting so this is right up my alley and I've heard really great things about this I've heard that this author does a really good job at kind of writing for an audience that may not be familiar with a lot of the anthropological terms and the different species so I'm very much looking more into this I think this one will be a really fun read um, and hopefully I will learn a lot and lastly, I think the winter time is like the best time to read fairy tales. And so this is one that has come out recently that I really want to read. And it is Gilded by Marissa Meyer. And I think this is going to be like a series or a duology. I saw that there's going to be another book coming out. So I don't know how many books this series is going to have, but at least there's one more. So that's all I know so far. But basically, this is a fairy tale retelling of Rumpelstiltskin and, um, I, that's all I really know about it. I, I don't want to spoil myself with knowing too much. I just like to dive right in, especially because Marissa Myers is an author that I have read a lot of her books from and an author that I trust. So I just know I'm just going to dive right in and just experience this book not really knowing too much about it. And what I think what is really unique about Marissa Myers is her, Marissa Meyer is her writing style and her character dialogue and how she is able to convey so much within just a short amount of like character dialogue you can get so much of a character's personality just from what they're saying and like all this other stuff and I think that is so interesting and just how she's able to weave so much personality into so little kind of dialogue I think is where she really shines and just like obviously she's known for her fairy tale retelling so this one I'm expecting to be a lot of fun, especially because if it's, it's going to be a series too, that's always a fun thing to start. But yeah, I'm really excited for this. I feel like this is like the perfect like fairy tale retellings. Like in my mind, I'm like cozy by the fire when there's snow like falling. Like that is like the perfect time to read a fairy tale. So yeah, I'm excited to d definitely dive into this one kind of over the next few months. So that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what books that you would like to read, you know, over the next few months are and all that fun stuff. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.